Hello guys, if you like my awesome gaming videos, my programming and web development courses, my editing courses and editing videos, and my tech talks and tech guidance, then you can consider subscribing to my channel and click on this bell icon to stay connected with me all the time. So as you know that we are talking about the Laravel relationship with many to many and we can also write belongs to many, okay? Suppose we have a product and this product might have different kind of category of tag. Suppose a product shoe can have in both male and female category or in case we write here only the tag. Suppose we write tag as female male and the product shoe can be in both the tag in male and female category. Similarly, there is a lot of kind of category that we have. Suppose we have a football product and football might have different kind of category or tag like it is in sports and it is in suppose games category in both tag it is remaining. Okay. So this is a, a belongs to many relationship. One product might have different kind of category we can select. Similarly, one tag can hold multiple products. And in case of one tag, we have multiple products. So this is very, very important. So let's do it and let's do it in practical way. How can we implement that? So first that we need to go to the XAMPP and make sure you just turn this uh, XAMPP server on and go to the admin panel. Just click on admin. If you click on that, you're going to go to the, this uh, php my admin and here i have created a database in the previous tutorial i uh, did that if you didn't watch it watch my previous two tutorials where i talked about the he has one through has many through and one to many and one to one relation now our database name is tutorial relation project here we're gonna upload all of our information now create a two scenario two model called product and tag okay and for that we need to one need one more concept which is pivot table so how can we keep track of this thing we need to create just simply two foreign key with the product id that hold whichever product we are inserting its id and corresponding to its tag id and tag id okay we will create two of these things and uh, suppose product id of one it has tag id of one it belongs to this tag id and same as well this product uh, this genes belongs to male and female suppose one is male this is for male okay and second one this is for female so number one product which is genes belongs to male and female both tag okay this is the tag that we are creating then we have product id of two suppose something uh, called football and it would be belongs to male and number one which is cricket ball suppose this is cricket ball this is another product and football is another product the both of this product can be played by male okay number one is male and this is male so cricket and football both can be tag id under of male category okay so this is very good thing and very easy thing and this is the thing that we can upload so this product can be in one category so this is category to product we have one to many relationship okay similarly similarly for product id of one we have two category this product id of one cricket ball can be played by both male and female so it has one to many relationship and it belongs to many tag id the model php artisan make a model and this model name is product model dash m to create a migration as you can see the model product is created and then we need to write again php artisan make model which is tag or category name it is should be tag dash m our two model tag and product is created now for pivot table we need to create one more table which is uh, product tag let me write it it should be uh, product tag table that holds both the product id and tag id so we need to make that model let me create another model make me a model called product tag dash m now we need to clear it out now let's go to our um, migrations folder migrations folder we have two tables three tables actually which is create product create tags and product tags first we need to work with the products so let's add some value to it quickly so first one let me go increment it will increment based on this id which is one two three four it will increment whichever product we uploaded then we need to go to table and just just give it a name property product name and then we have the table of a string let's give it integer as 
it should be a price product should have a name and price those two are the fields are okay let me copy all of those things and the timestamps and then then I'm going to go to the tags and let's paste it here so in the tags table we want is id and this is the id that we will connect in the uh, product tags table okay so we this id is very important then we have to have a tag name let me just give it tag name so that you can understand the differentiate between um, a product name and a tag name okay so this is the tag okay tag name is perfect okay to go to here product tags here we need to know the main thing first i need to just paste everything increments id and the timestamp we don't need that foreign key foreign id foreign id of and in the foreign id you need to pass the id of the product table and we can name it as product id and this will connect this product id okay so in the previous table you already understand what it means and we need to write constraint and constraint means which uh, table we want to connect this product tags table okay we need to connect this product tags table with product id as you can see here we need to connect this uh, pivot table with a normal product id table or products table so we need to write products okay then we can copy the whole thing and paste it here and then another thing which is tag underscore id and this and it will be connected with the tags table so we connected our two tables with their um, id as a foreign key as product id to keep track of whichever product we are connecting this table with and then we are connecting the foreign key as tag id of the tags table if you go to the text table this id is the tag id that we are connecting it just like this pivot table and it's constant for because which product we are connecting this table with okay so this is the new way another way we can write as table and it should be foreign and id references references id on which table products table so you're going to go to products table and its id and we're going to keep that thing as product id in our product tags table okay so this is the old way i'm just using the new way Migrate it. we need to write php artisan migrate okay we have a problem product references or product id products tags products id okay let me check foreign keys incorrectly formed let me go to our server as you can see we have tags and we have tag name id and if you go to the products products we have name price and if you go to the product tags we have two things so all of this thing is migrated but i don't know why it happened so i i guess we need to just write it in the old way i think this is the way you need to write let me write it here it should be unsigned integer and it should be product underscore id and we need to create one more for the tag id let me delete this and copy another one for the tag this is for the tag id and it will connect with the tags so it's working really fine so we have two fields id product id and tag id field and we are connecting the product tables id with the product id and tag ids with the tag id in the products tag table so let me we have to delete everything here let me i'm doing it live so that you can have some problem you can also solve it with me okay so let me write it here php artisan migrate okay now it works i don't know why the new things isn't working because i might have lower version of php but if you have higher version of php and let me check it php dash v okay php 8.1 if you have higher version i think it will work for you go to our model we have product model tag model and here we need to do the main work okay so public function 
and it has many tags and let me go to tags and it will return this belongs to many this product belongs to many tag or one product or jeans suppose can have many tag for it can be for male it can be for female this product belongs to many tag okay slash class and we need to give the foreign key okay which is products tags okay so this is if we go to the our database as you can see product tags okay if you go to the migration folder product underscore tags okay so this is the uh, table that connects everything so that's why i need to just use that product tags table save it i think this will work just fine we can just copy the same thing and go to our tag and this is also belongs to many many products it should be products now tag should have many products in each tag suppose mail we can have cricket ball we can have football different kind of products we can get in each tag okay so that's why each tag has belongs to many products so instead of tag it should be product and this is foreign key so tag belongs to many products each tag belongs to many product and each product belongs to many tag and then we go to um product tag. here we don't need to do anything except we need to write protected guarded it should be guarded and guarded is equals to empty so that we can put all of the information including date time and it's all of this id and primary keys we didn't define anything so we need to keep copy this thing in the products table as well and tag tables as well so our connection is completed we need to insert some value in the database so first we're gonna insert some product and insert product name suppose shoes okay shoes is one product and its price is 500 we insert a football price is 100 and i'm going to insert something called smartphone and price is 600 and i'm going to insert jeans price 150 so our product is created then we're going to go to tag and here to insert some tag name tag name suppose male uh, and then we're gonna go to female and then we're gonna insert sports okay so we have uh, suppose this tags means actually the category so male style female style sports games all of those are the category or the tag name and they have particular id belonging to that one is male two for female three for sports four for games and if we go to the products one for shoes two for football three for smartphone then we have jeans these are the products then uh, we can also connect them that so one connected with male and one connected with female suppose uh, for shoes and football okay shoes and football the two of the product uh, can be belong to male and female as well because female also uses shoes and male also uses shoes but shoes can be in both male and female so product have many tags each product has many tags so this is the relation and same way we, need, we have a smartphone and jeans let me collect all of those things in the product tags table and here insert in the product id of jeans which is uh, product id of four it should be connected with jeans can be in male okay jeans can be in male and the same jeans okay can be connected with tag id of female because jeans can be worn by both of them then we're gonna insert something more which is suppose a smartphone and a smartphone can be used by both male and smartphone can be used by both 
male and female okay and then we need to connect one more thing we just here we gonna change and go just go to football product idea football suppose football have um, two categories okay the football can be in sports and we're gonna insert one more thing and then football can be in games okay so thing so one product have two categories okay football have uh, sports and games so okay so this is the relation we have and go to product tags here as you can see product idea 4 which is actually jeans it belongs to male same as if you go to the product id of um 3 which is a smartphone it can be in male okay so two product smartphone and jeans have only one category which is male and male then we have product id of two which is football which has a sports category and the same product football can have games category so we have two categories or two tag on each product so this is how we connect it two is connected with three two is connected with four then we have what tag id of one okay connected with four and tag id of one connected with three so tag id of one means male is connected to smartphone tag id of male so one tag id have multiple products jeans and a smartphone so this is how we connect it. both are connected from right side to left side one connected to four one connected to three different kind of thing and here two connected to three and two connected to four so this is how we just stack every single thing so this is uh, the relation that you understand when you see it properly and deep dive into it and make the full project by yourself and then only you can understand it by better way so here you need to write php artisan serve okay to run our server and then we need to go to the web.php here we need to create our many to many relation so for that you're gonna go to route you're gonna use the help of route and route get if you want to get many to many and if you go there you can create a function symbol and here you're gonna return something first you need to go to the product product model and in the product model we need to use with with tags because product model has tags if we go to models and as you can see we have many tags this is the property that we can access here so product with tags give me all the products with tags and get okay return products with tag and it can also use find one so product id of one with all the tags give me this information so if you just uh, turn on the server and click on php artisan optimize make sure you do that unless your project will be failed and then we just run server in here as you can see product id of one it means that give me the product and find the id of one it means the product id of one information we want if i write it two it will give me the product id of two information but we want only one and give me all the product information with its tag related and just save it and as you can see it give, gives me all the information so if you just refresh it and then you just this partition optimize as you can see we get shoes and its price and product id of one if you go to the product id of one it has shoes so suppose we want the information for product id of um football okay football which is id of two and this product id have two tag which is sports and games okay so we need the information for product id of two and its tag so for that we need to go to optimize again and then run our server simple 
and then go to click on it as you can see we get all the information in the product id of two which is football and its price is 100 it's as same as the database as you can see the product id of two is actually the football and it belongs to sports and games it has two tag as you can see it has tag name of sports and pivot table product id 2 connecting with the tag id of 3 which is product id of 2 connected with the product uh, tag id of 3 as you can see and then we have i product id of 4 which is uh, tag name is games it is connected with product id of 2 and 4 so product id of 2 connected with the tag id of 4 which is games so as you can see that sports and games is connected with the this product football so one product has multiple tag okay so belongs to many uh, tag so football product belongs to many tag this is the thing that we just specified in the products table as you can see this product tag is belongs to many tag so it's very simple and easy to understand and then we can also do one more thing for tag id of one we have two things four and three as you can see tag id of one actually mail mail uses suppose a smartphone and mail uses jeans suppose that as you can see one tag id belongs to multiple product uh, now i need to go to the web.php and here we can also do that and this time we need to do it tag and tag with products and for which tag we want tag id of one because tag id of one has two information which is uh, connecting with jeans and the smartphone and tag id of one is actually the mail so give me the tag id of for one okay tag id of one yes this is the tag id of one and give me tag id with all the products corresponding to each tag which is this one and this one four and three okay now it will give me all the information like that and here we have a tag of mail and this tag connecting with the jeans and smartphone jeans and smartphone is the uh, id number of three and four for the product as as you can see three and four as you can see four is for jeans three is for smartphone this tag id mail this is connecting with uh, because each mail uh, category we can have jeans product and smartphone as well one tag corresponding multiple products so tag belongs to multiple products so this is the very simple idea how can we do that very simple and very easy and you can also use some other functionalities if we go to documentation here as you can see this is the same thing that you use belongs to many belongs to many and you can use order by and get all those data as you can see very simple and very easy to use as you can see i just use the user with okay and get all the information and if you use this kind of logic suppose um, tag with products and get all okay you get all so let's check it out what we get here so optimize optimize and serve again let's check it oh my god it gives me all the information for tag mail we have uh, jeans and we have a pivot table for the smartphone we have pivot table for female for you, you get all the information whichever you want you can read it later you can get every single thing so this is also an issue three logics products with tags with particular id of product we want to get information then we get a tag with all the products corresponding to it and get all the information and tag producting with it and corresponding to particular id okay so there can be lots of lot of categories of information that you can get you can also use one more thing which is if you go to product and you can also use product find product id of two and i'm gonna go to tags and tags we can attach we can attach a lot of things suppose product id of two here uh, product id of two which is football okay it can be in sports and games okay three and four suppose we want to connect it with mail as well mail and suppose female as well suppose we are connecting this product id of two which is actually the uh, product id of two suppose football we're connecting with all of those things with i put product tag of male and female because three and four is already connected with product id of two we want to connect one and two with it now 
so for that we need to go to product id of 2 and go to its tag and attach more tag in the array format suppose you want to add 1 and 2 because 3 and 4 is already connected we can attach one more tag similarly we can do for each tag we can connect multiple product but here i'm gonna use each, this product id of 2 and add tag of 1 and 2 we are attaching for the product id of 2 we are attaching tag 1 and 2 here and php artisan optimize php artisan serve okay we attached it to the server as you can see product id of 2 is attached to number 3 and 4 product id of 2 is attached to 1 and 2 is attached and then you can get all the information return product with tags so given the product id of 2 with all of its tags okay now if we go there as you can see product id of 2 is uh, which is football okay it has tag of sports and it has tag of games and it can be inside the tag of male category and inside the female category as you can see so each name which is football tag or the football product is connected with lot of tag sports games male and female these are all the thing that uh, is important to understand the attach method that attach every single thing the product with attach with multiple tables or multiple tags or multiple category so this is a simple thing how you can do the pivot table that corresponding each product id with stack id and just keep a record of which is connected to which one so these are the basic concept of pivot tables and laravel many to many relationship it is not only laravel in django node.js and many other things the many to many relationship is a little bit of complex for beginning beginners so that's why i keep it very simple and very easy for you i showed you multiple ways how can you understand it perfectly and beautifully so that you can guys help a lot okay so i hope uh you can get a lot of amazing tutorials in the next future uh where i'm gonna learn a lot of advanced laravel concept and give you much more thing in the near future so till then take care bye bye i'll catch up in the next video with more awesome content till then subscribe share as much as possible so that many people can get help from me and also share and as much as possible so that you can give me some love so thanks for watching i'll be coming in the next video